What is going on you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're reacting to Attack on Titan 13.5. It's called Since That Day. Should be really interesting. Let's check it out. If you like Attack on Titan, smash that like button. Consider subscribing to my anime reaction videos and hit the notification bell obviously so that you keep up to date with it. Let's just jump straight into this. Let's go. So something interesting is that it says this episode is called 13.5. So I'm not exactly sure what it is. I'm like it could even be filler to be honest hopefully not but if it is it is doesn't really matter so yeah we saw him close close the hole oh wow remember he had a dream in the very beginning in this scene and he was like oh it was just a dream and he was busy crying so it's kind of like weird how you never know like like you never know where he actually is and where he was like what memory is just in his mind in terms of it already happened before but when we watched it it kind of made it seem like oh this is where they're starting from he could have been like even this stuff here with his like mom getting killed and stuff could have just been a memory while he was in the titan and him going back and re like re-experiencing it so like you never like I mean, this is just a theory, but you never really know where he's at. Just with all, after these things unfolding now. I don't think I'll ever get used to the Titan's face. You know, those creeps. So. <laughs> oh yeah, so this is the point where Armin went to actually call Hannes. So maybe this episode is just a recap of what we've seen so far which wouldn't actually be too bad because it like gives you time to reflect again and also just like the thing about his dad is just non-existent but at the same time has played a role in all of this oh yes and that's the thing and we saw this with like the other people in the garrison like with the new team with Eren how they like they have a lot to say but once you're in front of that titan here's another thing when she's like don't go right or come back or something but like it's so it's so rough but she was like don't go or something but she had to like that's how she was feeling but she had to be strong in order to just to truly let them go oh yeah they left them oh right the colossal titan no you can't tell me looking at this thing that this isn't some guy who's sitting in the neck who has the same ability as Eren. But then, like, it all just comes down to his why. Like, what is this attack? And here's another thought or theory, right? Is that, you see, you get these types of titans who just, like, look so weird. But they're, like, between 5 meters, 10 meters tall. Then maybe humanity developed a way to actually become titans themselves. But then, during that, they started having internal beef. And now fighting against each other with the thing that they created to actually defend themselves it's funny it's only like well 14 episodes but 13.5 and it feels like so much has already happened and that's kind of something that i like about the show as well is that they have like these little time skips because remember i was saying that i thought that they were going to be in the training camp for a long time but they kind of like it was like one episode they were done two episodes Oh yes, and then that other one disappeared behind him out of nowhere. Doof. Crazy. And that's actually the the hole that he sealed. Now that I think about it, but he did super well here. Yeah. And I wonder, maybe that's why that Titan. You remember, like Aaron actually got around it and went to go slice the neck. And it probably vanished again because like the guy in the neck was like, oh, I'm going to be exposed. And then he disappeared because they're obviously going to show it now. Oh my gosh, he did the spin like Levi. You see, look, he gets behind. And then obviously the guy on the inside. I mean, this is obviously just a theory. I don't know if there's a guy on the inside, but he realized like, I got to go.
Which like, I mean, obviously I don't know, but that's kind of my theory at this point. Don't die. Which is kind of like funny because he did die, you know? If he was a normal human being, he did actually die. Like he did save Armin, but he got eaten. And remember when they were doing this, I was like, damn, Team 34, amazing. Like they're going to be the ones to change it. And then everybody just got wiped out. Thomas first. That was crazy. When I saw that, I was like, what's going on here? And they weren't even able to stop one of them. Maybe Mikasa killed one. But I think that was only later on when um, that other rich guy was blocking the entrance with his cart. That was the only time we actually saw one of the titans get killed. Oh man, everybody got taken out. And an old man titan. Also like, you know, like, look how far Armin fell. And yet Eren somehow still caught him. Which I mean, I guess it's probably just used for like, suspense. Oh, I think his leg was already missing at this point. And then his arm went, now. Nah. Yeah, all those people. So that's the, I made a mistake, well not a mistake, but I said the wrong thing at the end of the last episode when I said that maybe they make other titans when they throw up like that. But I also read that it did say that they don't have digestive organs. So when they get too full, they just have to throw up. You know, my theory was that that's how other titans are born through those like cocoon things. But it's basically just like a human hairball. Oh, we never saw this. Like we never actually saw him come out of the titan. We, just, we did see the hand. But we just saw him like come around the corner here when Mikasa was fighting. Oh, so he was like, he was obviously a bit out of control, but he was still having like the human thought of like, I want to kill them all. And over here, he was just like daydreaming. So the Titan had basically taken control. Oh. Which is interesting, like, he never listened to Mikasa. He only listened to Armin. But then again, Armin was, like, very close to him on the back of his neck. But, I mean, obviously, it's, like, it's cool for humanity and stuff that Eren can turn into a titan. But just seeing things like this in itself makes you believe that it's obviously gonna have some effect on his mind. You know? Like, there must be some sort of, like, thing that messes with your mind every time you transform. Like, you... It's... That would be interesting. That would be kind of funny. Is not funny, it would be ironic. Imagine that every time he turns into a titan, he actually uses a, loses a bit of his humanity. You know, so the thing that he's fighting for is exactly the thing that he loses every time he turns into a titan. That would be crazy. This part is so intense, like I just continuous goosebumps. I don't think I've ever watched a show or an anime that gave me this much goosebumps. Like look at that, like just thinking about it just like sends it through my body the whole time, the whole time. Just that like that score of the music, it's just like, it's so intense dude. Even when, oh my god, I can't, it's so amazing. This specific one. Na, na, na. It is so intense. Like whoever came up with that is... It's so amazing. It's... It's out of this world. It's like the human beings did not make this show.
so crazy oh and like now we're wrapping back to this point because obviously now we at the place of where like he was in jail and levi's like taking him under the wing <laughs> yeah this is basically where we were like there's definitely something about him having these dreams and like going back and forth like that yeah i mean that was the now it was kind of like i wouldn't say a filler but a definitely a recap of everything that we've seen so far and i mean it's decent because that's the thing there is a lot that happens in the show and so now it's i was able to actually reflect on some of the theories that i have which is i mean i just i basically just spoke right through this just giving my thoughts on it definitely interesting to see where it goes you know with episode 14 almost asking the question of why did they have this little recap now is this from 14 onwards is this like the second half of the season one type of thing you never know um i don't actually know how many episodes there are per season but if it is 28 then it would make sense because you know this would be kind of halfway and then i mean then we'll obviously just see you know captain levi what he's able to do with Aaron and like the relationship that builds between them especially because you know now they're gonna be heading back right like the whole point was they're gonna be missioning back to the basement because they had the key that's also gonna be interesting to uncover especially with like where is Aaron's dad maybe they're gonna find out where he went you know because remember after he injected him then he left I don't know what it is but there's just there's something about Aaron's dad that I don't trust you know a guy who is this like brilliant scientist who has come up with these things you know he was he was busy visiting Mikasa's parents back then and like through all this madness don't forget that mikasa showed some form of super strength ability now they haven't really touched on that again but i keep mentioning it. she was a kid and she kicked right through the floorboard crushed the handle of the knife and she also had that electricity like rush through her like Aaron does when he becomes a titan now do i believe that she can also transform into a titan no but i do believe that she can gain some form of like super ability like super strength super speed something like that now obviously it could have just been like a depiction of how you know in the moment how she decided to fight back and all the neurons fired off and she just went and attacked or it could be my theory that she actually has some type of ability and Aaron's dad knows about it as well. That's why he took them to meet each other. This is like my son, the Titan, and this, my friend's child, Mikasa. So yeah, very interesting. Um, it's been good so far. It's been great so far. I'm keen to keep going. That'll be on Thursday, but that's going to be it for me. If you like Attack on Titan, smash that like button. Consider subscribing to my anime reaction videos with the notification bells on because, I mean, I'm releasing every day of the week. <laughs> i'll leave the last episode right up over here but thanks for watching if you're watching that's gonna be it from me i'm out peace in a bit